Hi fellow crafters, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. I recently bought a new set of dies and I can't wait to show you this really fun card idea using them. Shall we get started? These are the Pockets Thoughts dies. You can get them bundled with a stamp set, but I chose to purchase them separately because I immediately saw so many uses for them using the supplies that I already have. And to be honest, I wasn't really keen on the stamp set, but I love pocket anything. So I thought I'm gonna buy these dies and I'm gonna show you how to use them. Now, as the name already indicates, these dies allow you to add fun pockets in different sizes to your paper crafts. And these pockets can hold gift cards, they can hold money, anything else you like. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna consider the anything else you like for this card idea. So let's get started. Now the supplies that I already have on hand and that I'm going to use today are the painted lavender stamp set, the perennial postage dies, and the perennial lavender designer series paper. So I'm combining all of these products together to create my pocket card. My card base is going to be crumb cake, and here's one of the patterns in the perennial lavender designer series paper, and I'm going to adhere that to my card base using my multi-purpose liquid glue. The next thing I want to do is create a bunch of elements for my card. I have some fresh freesia cardstock and I'm going to die cut these little flowers from it. I've got these two designs in the perennial lavender designer series paper. And on this back of this one, I've um, attached some of the adhesive sheets because this die is quite delicate and I think it would be kind of messy to use a liquid glue on it. So I'm going to die cut these out and then we'll move on to the next step in making this pocket card. Now I want to work on the insert for my pocket and I'm going to be using two different stamp sets for this project. I'm going to use the Enduring Beauty stamp set to stamp the phrase that says, you mean so much to so many and I'm going to ink it up and stamp it down using Gorgeous Scrape. Now what I want to do is adhere this phrase layer to a layer of fresh freesia using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I want to take this element that I created and I want to adhere it to this layer using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I've got these little fresh freesia flowers that I've die cut out and I want to add them sort of randomly to this, I guess we'll call it a, I don't know, a branch or a, you know, some kind of a stem um, so that it, it coordinates the colors that I'm going to be using on the rest of the card. And I decided at the last minute to go a little bit rogue and I added the fourth flower there underneath the phrase. So now let's make the pocket. I've got the same piece of perennial lavender designer series paper, and I'm going to use the middle sized pocket and I'm going to die cut that out. Now what I really think is cool about these dies is that not only does it die cut out the pocket, but it gives you score lines as well. So it makes it super easy. You don't have to figure anything out mathematically. You just fold it in and score. And then we're going to add this pocket to the front of the card. Now to adhere this down, I could use my tear and tape adhesive, I could use my snail adhesive, or I could use my multi-purpose liquid glue. I would say this completely depends on what you're putting into your pocket. If it's anything that's quite heavy, then obviously I would use a stronger adhesive than my multi-purpose liquid glue. But for this project, since we know that I'm inserting a pocket card, then I think the multi-purpose liquid glue will work just fine. Now I want to add a little bit of decoration to the front of my pocket card. So I've got this piece of designer series paper from the same pack and from the Simply Said stamp set. 
I love this just a note and I'm going to ink it up and stamp it right onto the designer series paper using gorgeous grape. Now, after I die cut out the phrase, I realized when I placed it on top of the pocket that it kind of seemed to disappear. So I decided to add a layer of fresh freesia underneath it just to make it stand out a little bit. And then I'm going to adhere it to the pocket using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I have this leftover piece of designer series paper just lying around on my table. And what I'm gonna do is die cut these butterflies. I may not use both of them, but I'm definitely gonna use the larger one. Now all that's left is to take our little card that we created and to slide it inside the pocket like so. And now it's time to talk embellishments. I decided to use some of my purple fine shimmer gems and this pattern is really busy. So I'm going to put a gem right here so it draws the eye in to the fact that, oh, there's something there. And then I think I will put just a couple more randomly on the front. And for just a little fun, I put one on just above the J, so it looks like it's the dot of the J. Now, here we go. Here's our pocket card. And remember those tall, skinny dies that I created? Well, I decided to add them to the inside of the card just for a little fun effect and a little bit of a surprise when the person that's going to get this card receives it in the mail. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers, I will link to my blog article in the description box underneath this video. You can link over to my blog article and get all the information you need, including the product ordering numbers, in case you want to make this pocket card at home. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.